Welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about lots of very wholesome things and we're just gonna have a nice time. And... What was that noise? Oh, uh, uh, so you think you're funny, do you? Oh, <laughs> but you can only get 23. Is that a challenge? Is that, is that, I mean, there's no way I can turn down challenge, you know. All right, all right, you asked for it, but don't tell me I didn't warn you. I'm gonna crush you. I'm gonna crush you right down to dust. The test in question is the sequence memory test, or as I like to call it, Simon Says. The website will show you a pattern, and you just have to repeat that pattern until you inevitably mess up. Oh no. So, what's the program gonna look like for this test? Well, you might say to me, hey, all it's going to have to do is take a screenshot of this area so it knows where to click and then it's going to repeat that. And you'd be wrong. That's not a very good way to do it. Like, it might work, but the timing would be hard and everything. And it's just, no, we don't do that here. I like my programs to be efficient. So the way I'm going to do it instead is I'm just going to take the positions of all nine of these squares because... I don't actually need to take a screenshot of this area at all. All I need to do is check for one pixel in the center of each square. And the program will wait for it to be white. And when it sees that pixel turn white, it knows that it's shown it that square. And because there's nine squares, I can actually just make this into a string of numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the program, all it does is it notes down that string of numbers and then it repeats that string and it just keeps going forever and ever, amen. Let's code it up then. So here it is, as you can see, it works. Sees the pattern, just chills, and then it clicks. Now that I think about it, I should probably have it move the mouse outside of the box when it's looking so it doesn't get messed up by the mouse, but it looks like it's working just fine. And if you want me to show you, if you take a look here, if you take a look here, this is the sequence it's seeing. Um, so these are all strings actually, not numbers. And that's just the pattern that it's been shown. Um, now I wanted to do it from one to nine, but because computers start counting from zero, it goes from zero to eight. Meaning this one is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just makes it way easier for the code. So, as is custom on this channel, let's start a very high octane montage and see just how far I can take this program. After, of course, removing the program from printing out the sequence, because <laughs> we all know how that ended, don't we? I had a bit of trouble here stopping the recording, actually. As you can see, my computer was so slow, it just wouldn't let me stop it. And this was mainly because of this massive list that Python was trying to print out every word.
So it seems our program got a little too hasty on level 34 and made a mistake. No matter, still very far in the 100th percentile. However, as you know, I would like to go further. 28, you know, beating it by 34. It's just, it's not that good. So what can we do to improve it? I mean, I have no idea. I don't know what went wrong. But I'll do my best, maybe slow it down a bit just to give it time. You know, the tortoise beats the hare, is what I'm trying to say. Once again, I find myself in a position where this program shows no signs of stopping. I believe it is perfect, so I will terminate it here, because I think it would just keep going forever and ever. And I think, oh, there we go. I was wondering how long this was going to be going on, because I've been watching this for a while. Because level 212 means there's 212 different patterns that's it's extreme, Simon says. Um, but level 212, very high in the 100th percentile, um, took forever because as the levels go up, the patterns get longer. And most of the time, it was just spent with the program watching the Simon says, not actually doing it. We managed to execute them quite quickly. And it's also very satisfying just watching the program, you know. Do -do 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 Yeah, that's exactly how the program sounds. Anyway, another very successful program. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to watch some more of my videos. And if you enjoyed those, feel free to subscribe and continue to support my work. That would really mean a lot to me. And I will leave you with this screen of 212.0 points. That, that's important, that point zero. We didn't, didn't give us half a point for effort on the 212th level. But I'll review with that and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.